July the 4th, 2024, rainbow up there. I don't know if it'll show up in this camera or not. Thunderstorm off to my north and west. Independence Day. You know, that's a big day in this country's history, boys. You know, and that independence is not guaranteed. You know, there's people around the world, you know, they have their little thoughts and wishes and, you know, there's evil in the world. We don't know what the future holds. There's no crystal ball. The leaders in our government are important people to keep our independence, to keep this country running, to keep this country civilized, to keep our borders in check from possible evil people penetrating. Now, why do we have a vice president? We have a vice president in case something happens, okay? You know, Air Force One could crash. We've seen what's happened to some of our past presidents. We generally, you know, it's for something that's unforeseen why we have a vice president to fill the shoes of the president. Not something that is probably going to happen. Like we see with J.B. You know, the Democratic Party, the entire party, every single member should be ashamed of themselves. Every single member. You're an embarrassment to this country. Now, why do I say that? There is no way in hell in the sharpshooter's mind that any 70-plus-year-old man or woman should be a candidate in this damn country running for president and not face a primary. Should not happen. The person running for president that's that old needs to be checked out. Checked out by the American people and checked out by the competition. Biden should have been primary. There should have been competitors. People should have called into question and say, well, he may be fit to serve. Well, let's find out. Oh, yeah, we found out all right, but look when we found out. That's why you Democrats out there, it's embarrassing. Nancy Pelosi, you should be ashamed of yourself. Chuck Schumer, you should be ashamed of yourself. As important as that position is and as old as J.B. is, he never stood on a debate stage with a competition to answer questions, to see his logic, thought process, his posture, the whole nine yards. And now look where we find ourselves. The Democrats have made this country into a laughing stock. You believe in democracy, Democrats? Well, that's democracy, ain't it? To let this guy that's how old? Just railroad the party and say, I'm it, tag, the rest of you all can kiss my ass. I'm going to be the nominee. You see what they did to RFK Jr.? You see what they did to him? They believe in democracy. But they wouldn't dare let him get on a ballot as a Democrat, huh? Embarrassing. Power hungry. Nancy Pelosi, why are you still in the House of Representatives? Ain't you got something better you can go do? 
You've been in there for eons. There's not a person in California that can do your damn job? Is that what you're saying? You know what a good you know what a good leader is? A good leader will groom people. Who have the Democrats groomed exactly? The rest of the Democrats are scared. They got their tails between their legs. They won't come out and even challenge JB and come. They won't even challenge Pelosi or Schumer. Why? These old dogs don't know all the tricks, okay? So we have all of this. We should have some intellect with some younger Democrats, shouldn't we? Should have. That would climb on that stage with this JB. I mean, if they believe in his policies, you know, maybe they don't believe in his policies. That's all right, too. This is historic in this country, what has happened with the Democrat Party, okay? This is called meltdown. This is called embarrassing. These people have educational degrees, a lot of them, and they, can't, they couldn't figure this out. What if? What if? Is Joe Biden capable? You done seen some behavior in this first term of his. You've seen, I've seen it on TV. Don't you all watch TV? You Democrats out there, are you watching Fox News? Maybe CNN and MSDNC is not showing this. Sean Hannity showed it. Tripping and falling and stumbling, getting lost on a stage. Mixing people's names up. What are those the signals of exactly? You don't have to be a doctor to figure that shit out. See, you've got this leadership of one of the major parties in this country. And they have made a grave mistake. And the younger Democrats are setting... And they're scared to death because they figure if they open their mouth, their political future is torched. Well, it goes like this. You can always change parties. You can always change parties. This is the craziest thing that I've ever seen. And to watch the press make the comments that they make and not doing what they should have been doing. Challenging this man. Challenging this man. And you see where we are. You see what the world has seen. That dirty laundry we've got roaming around at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue was aired to the whole world to see. You know, you can make them one mistake in a debate. You can mumble in one sentence in a debate. Anybody could. I could do that on this camera. I could mumble. Look, this is a... I'm not reading from any damn teleprompter doing this damn video. But to stand on a debate stage for how long, and most of it is mumbling, incoherent sentences, sudden stops, 
And then to conclude certain lives with, well, we beat Medicare. I still ain't figured out what the hell that meant. We beat Medicare. What, Medicare our enemy? A lot of senior citizens may have heard that and like, what's this guy talking Beat Medicare? Well, hell, we need Medicare. Yeah, these are your leaders in the Democrat Party. This is what they've set back and allowed to happen. But what would you expect from Pelosi? She's not hitting on all eight cylinders either, okay? She's grabbing, keeping that power. You know, keeping that power. People of California should kick her ass out of office. She shouldn't be back in that seat. How many million people in California? What, about 50 plus million? She's the only one of the two senator positions in that state that can do that damn job, huh? I find that amazing. She never even gets a challenger from her own party. Maybe if Nancy climbed on that debate stage, she would vapor lock like OJB. You reckon? It's possible. She's not been put through the ringer. She's been sitting in that house for how long? She's not been put through the ringer. Neither is Chuck Schumer. So you young Democrats out there, you need to be paying attention. Your party is fixing to just dissolve is what looks like to me. Vaporize. Vaporize because of the vapor lock of J.B. Clyburn. Representative Clyburn. You know, he's the one bailed Biden's ass out back in the primary back in 2020. Remember that? And he's out there, oh, there's nothing wrong. He's our man. You don't have a bench in the Democratic Party. I mean, what names comes up? What names really come up? There's no names that comes up. There's not a business person. There's not a business person who's a Democrat that comes up. Oh, you got a prior first lady. She comes up. Huh. How about that? So that's just what? Oh, you're going to hope that she can run and win just on purely name recognition, not, not her leadership qualities. Yeah, they don't have a bench. They've not groomed anybody. And they've got these people out there that are scared to death. Because JB's little motto is he's sitting in that way, it's my way or the highway. That's, that's, that's the mentality. And this is what you get with that mentality inside a party. The Republican Party, I can name you off 12 people right now besides Donald Trump that I think would make damn good presidents. And some of them may be president in the future. Men and women, black and white. And Hispanic. Now why is that? Why is that? That's a fact. That's the difference in those two parties. But yet, remember what they say, remember what the lunatic left says, it's Donald Trump that's a threat to democracy. He's King Trump now, according to some, with this Supreme Court ruling. Well, if you listen to Biden, he acts more like a king and Kamala Harris acts more like a queen 
because they tell us what we need to do. They don't ask us, what would you like us to do? How can I help you? You don't hear Joe Biden ask that question. You don't hear him go out in the public. You see him standing around in a damn ice cream shop, but you don't ever, you don't see him in a public. How can I help you? What's on your mind today? What's your concerns? You don't see it. You never will. You got to remember, J JB sat up there in that Senate seat he had, and what was he? He was another one of those Pelosi's, unchallenged. Unchallenged. Yeah, everybody's scared to death. Well, I wouldn't want to challenge him. I'll just get beat. Well, anyway, I hope everybody's had a good 4th of July. It's not dark here yet. There'll be some fireworks around here somewhere. I don't have any. I hope everybody has a good evening. <laughs>